Hey everybody! Hello, how, 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 howdy! Disney Crazy Family here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today for this wonderful collab. So we are doing a top five for 2023 pin collab. This collab was designed by Sarah from Sarah's Disney Magic. So if you want to go check her out as well as everybody else in this collab, go down below in the description and make sure to watch everybody's videos. <laughs> it is the DuckTales Halloween Cuties pin series. They made three of these back in 2020, I think, maybe. It's been a long time, uh, but there is a plushy or, or there's a rubber edging, yeah, a rubber they're, element. They're, yes. There we go. Jeez. Rubberized element for their trick or treat bot. Uh, what are those? Buckets. Pumpkins. Yeah. Yeah, lamb Pumpkin buckets. Wow. Words are hard today, guys. Wow. Words are hard. <laughs> this was not the day to speak. Probably one of my, I guess, if you want to say, least of favorites. Ow. I love my bell. And the reason I chose this one and not a different one, because we do have several in this series, um, is because we've not shown this one before. I do enjoy all of them equally for the presence of the whole medallion. It is a ornament and yet a pin. And this comes from DMI holidays 2021 and if y'all recall there was a video we put out with um what is her name adasa yes uh adasa signed yeah adasa signed the encanto version of this pin and we have that in our collection it's yes. very awesome yeah but anyway we i don't think we've shown these other ones up very up close and personal, but it is one of my favorites because I do enjoy this movie. And I like Pua, the little piggy piggy. Disney Movie Insiders, you need to make more medallions. Last Absolutely. year's were okay, but uh, go back to the style of medallion. You could do so many more characters. Hello, uh, the Black Panther dude from the second movie. He's literally Aztec ish. There you go, yep. Yeah. That would be an amazing character Whoa, to have. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah. And these pins are weighty, very hefty. Good hefty size. Pins. I couldn't imagine them hanging on a tree. They might weigh down the whole tree. <laughs> so mine, I picked from, I think, one of my favorite lounge fly sets that we have ever unboxed. Um, we didn't do it on the channel because it was pre- channel but this is such a beautiful pin the fairy godmother this entire set is glittery it is rose gold this one is not the chase but it is the most vibrant i think out of the entire set mm -hmm. i was very tempted to pull all of the pins in this set she's so cute but look at the blue here we go always watching <laughs> That's my one of my best roses, but I do like her because it does remind me of my work personality. Uh, always watching, always vigilant, vigilant. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was not a good day to speak. <laughs> but anyway, I like her because she's inconspicuous yet she strikes fear in the little Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> Just a friendly reminder to always do your paperwork on time yes. and correctly. <laughs> yes, and keep the puce. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Pixar Funko uh, pin, Funko Pop pin. I like her. Okay, so we have shown these on the channel before. It is the designer collection of Villain Masks. So pretty, we're missing two from this set. So if anybody has uh, Maleficent or Lady Tremaine, please let me know. Oh yes, that would be a wonderful trade. Very, very beautiful. Can you see all the glitter on this background? I don't know if you can, come a little closer. There we go. Let me zoom in just a smidgy midgy. Gonna 
flash her back and forth. Oh my goodness. Can you see that? Limited release. Let's get a better look at her mask. Really nice sculpted detail on the mask. And this right here, this inlay is purple, right? I know it's hard to tell up against this uh, bronze color. But look at that, the little jewels. She's got purple inlay here on both sides and in here, representing jewels. And she's got like a little, um, was that the handle for the mask? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I like that they have human Yzma and then cat Yzma represented on the mask. I really yes, like that. That is really cool. Good detail. Yes. Whoever did this was fabulous. Fabulous. I love it. Yep, very okay. nice. That was my next pick. Okay, I guess I'll go for my number three. Wow, you're gonna choose that one? I don't know. It's a tie between this one and this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And this would be from Epcot. Epcot Flower and Garden 20, oh, wait a minute, 2005, 2006, 2006. And it has a dangle element. It is Mickey and Minnie and a garden gazebo. This is like pin on pin on pin on pin with a dangle and glitter. Yes. Do you know how complicated that is? Four, no, three layers at least. One, two, three, four. Holy cannoli. And we have the sandblast back. Epcot Flower and Garden, limited edition, $7.50. They don't make them like they used to. This is a really nice pin. This is very nice. I enjoy this a lot because it just shows a springtime element, the dangle element, the simplicity of the design. I like it. I like it a lot. Can't help but look at it and go, you know what, that's, that's nice. That's a nice pin. Makes you think of springtime, summer's coming. Yeah. I like it, I like it. So this next one is a box lunch exclusive set of fig pins. And I think we should be having um, a fig pin video update soon. I don't know, we'll, we're working on things guys, we're working on things. But these lovely fellows <laughs> were part of that Alien Remix yeah. series. Absolutely love these. Glittery, which is what makes them box lunch exclusives. Um, they might be limited edition. I don't quite recall, but really good size. All the aliens are kind of small, um, but I do like Carl and um, Russell a lot. Up is probably one of the really nice movies that they always come uh, they always make pins for so mm -hmm. i enjoy these i like the fact that he's still wearing his little grape soda pin it's really cute they got all the details right they have the little wilderness explorer banner and his little badges down here that's really cute i even enjoy the tennis balls on the bottom of the walker the cane. Yep, these are really, <laughs> really nice. Some of my favorite fig pins. Uh, maybe just because of the glitter? I don't know. More glitter! Uh, yes, so much glitter. Okay, here's one of my others. And this one I enjoy because it, again, ta-da! It's a sparkly element. The red here is all glitter background. Dumbo moves right here. I always enjoy a moving element. There's pigment down here. Oop, Dumbo's going for another ride. There's circus leader Mickey. And we have Minnie doing her tricks on the back of a horse. Mickey right there. This might have been a pin event pin. I don't quite recall. I actually didn't go to whatever event this was for, if it was for an event. 
um, but it's really, really big and really stunning. It's a LE 1000 Mickey's Circus. And it's from 2012, I believe, if I read that correctly. Let me look real quick. It is, yes, 2012. Had to get the magnifying glass out because that's really teeny tiny. Really living space. Very, very nice pin. Oh. Okay. It hurts me that this is honorable mention number one. <laughs> Limited edition of 1000. Uh, Y'all saw me trade for this pin Ooh, nice. um, last year, I believe it was. And I traded several Loungefly Coco pins plus something else for like another pin. But this was definitely the star of the trade, guys. I have wanted this pin for forever. <laughs> I love this art style. I really want the entire collection um, of NBC characters drawn this way. I like the fact that this spinner right here is pumpkin in a snowflake. That's cool. His little uh, beard and fur around the hat is gold sparkles. Glitter! Yep. More stinking glitter. I like it. I like it, I like it. Does, that, <gasps> does this glow? That almost looks like that would glow. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Let's find out. Hold it up. Yeah. Let's see. Lights off. It does. Really? Yes. Ooh. That's cool. Sparkle mm, and know. glitter. Yeah, and the little up here, these pumpkins, they glitter. I mean, they glow. They glitter. Yeah, they glitter. <laughs> nice. See if you can pick out. I'll start with this one. I right hear who These this is meant to be. Gorgeous. Hey Disney, you want to redo this or add more characters? Oh, I'm telling you, with some and of make the newer. Them bigger. Yeah. People would pay money. I'm telling you. Ooh, do it for a Mardi Gras. You could have a Mardi Gras mystery set. I know y'all don't do like a whole bunch of the uh, emphasis on like the random holidays anymore like you used to but you should consider for Mardi Gras or for Halloween I guarantee you it would be a very successful pin set for you so I'm sure y'all have guessed by now who this is because of that little detail right there that is a gold seashell in the midst of all that hair and these are tentacles purple tentacles around this face and here is the dead giveaway of who that is yes lady ursula the sea witch she is totally empowering here she has flotsam and jetsam around her neck she has her bustier on oh, you can really imagine nice. really nice pin yes and she's got her empowered uh hands and her red fingernails just flaring there you know what one year if you made the halloween costumes that people could meet and greet to look like this i doubt anyone would be offended oh by my this. gosh just saying you could have an entire halloween pin event whoa with a masquerade theme Whoa. Bring out rare characters, either one you haven't ever seen before, like King Candy, who would be awesome. Ooh. Or two, bring out characters that you only bring out for super, super special events. Number three, you could bring out characters who already wear Halloween costumes mm. during the normal mm. holiday season. Disney. Ideas. And I, I want compensation for this. <laughs> and this is part of that um, designer um, collection, Disney's designer collection. It's an LR series. The Midnight Masquerade, Masquerade series. Collection. Yes. yes. Very nice. This is a pin set of LE 750. I saw it and immediately had to buy this. Okay. I had to have it. Don't pretend like you don't like these little characters. No, I love this pin. 
It's oh, a very cute pin. They're so cute. Yes. Look at their little braces. I like this one because she's so darn happy. She That's just has so no idea. No idea what's coming. Going to be eaten. <laughs> and she's happy about it. <laughs> so cute. You know what? Loungefly, Disney, we know you make Alice sets. Make more mystery sets with the cute little oysters. Yes, crazy. doing different things that is so cute. Crazy amounts of money would be made. I love the little pearlized background, that marbly pearl. I love that. Everything about this is so good. Can I see the back of this little guy? Yep, the size. Oh, this was a Pins Break the Internet exclusive. I don't think I said that before. Nope, you didn't. Okay. Absolutely amazing. And we actually don't have too many pins of the little oysters, so this is very nice to add to our Alice collection, which actually is relatively big compared to some of the other ones we have. Uh, have you shown your number one? No, I have not. You go ahead. Okay. You sure? Yep. Okay, people. Y'all know. If you know, you know. I've shown this on the channel before. <laughs> I got real, real excited about it. Okay. Any guesses from the back? You know what it means. Any guesses? Okay. Well, if you bet money that it was going to be a princess pin, you would absolutely be right <laughs> this is my favorite pin right now it hurts it really does hurt that it's a princess pin okay <laughs> we do love tangled i must admit that that's probably one of our favorite favorite princess movies um rapunzel is very cute look at that sparkle though guys that is very sparkly I'm one of the little. lowest limited edition pins that we have in the collection absolutely stunning and i've linked that video of where i traded for it up in the corner so you can go see the awesomeness of my reaction <laughs> so so stunning maybe you shouldn't if you have it your ache her oh. little squeals of joy are just, yeah. It's so good. It's so limited. Only dogs can hear it. Guys, come on. Who else is a Rapunzel collector? <laughs> I, I'm going to blame Loungefly for our princess collection because prior to Loungefly, we truly did not have too many princess pins. And I'm talking like the entire forte of pr princess pins. We had a very, very small collection. I think Snow White was the biggest, mm -hmm. just because we love all the dwarves with Snow White, okay? Like, everybody else exploded, except Brave, because they don't make very many pins of Merida. And plus she was a new princess, so there wouldn't have been too many in the past. That's true, but like, other non-traditionally labeled princesses we have more pins of than Merida, who yes. is a princess. So I don't understand. Okay. Rant over. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show my numero uno. We've shown this one on the uh, so channel good. before. But I love this pin. I love this movie. The background is white, like a white birch tree. And... It is glittery. You see it? Always yeah. the glitter. I'm telling you. I love Robin Hood. This particular pin. Bam! Ooh. Extra special. It's like getting two for one. Dun dun dun. I absolutely love this. That is so cool. This was, I think, the first year Loungefly did LE pins during the pandemic. So, yeah. super low. And this is a LE, if I remember, 900? Or does it say 500? Five. Okay. Yeah, I don't oh. think they did nine. You're right. I can see 500 on this one much better. So, there you are. So That is pretty. my number one. 
And I'm sorry it's a duplicate, but you know, I love Robin Hood. Oh, so pretty. Hey, most of mine, I think we've seen on the channel before. So yeah, I think all of mine we've seen on the channel. But go. you know what? We got some new friends who haven't seen these pins. I guarantee it. Okay. So let's see for me. Go check out everybody else's uh, choices down below. I am very curious because some people have definitely different tastes than we do. Oh yeah, it's um, always something great to see who else's number ones are and their favorites are. Sarah, thank you so much for asking us to participate. Please go check Sarah's video and everybody else in this collab link down below. We can't wait to see what pins are coming. So excited to see everybody's picks and Absolutely. hopefully see some new pins we've never seen before. Oh yeah. So go check it out. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you later. Thanks for coming to the table. We'll see you later, pin pals. Bye. Bye.